In contrast to conventional computers, quantum computers are a sort of computer that uses the concepts of quantum mechanics to carry out some tasks more quickly. They process and alter information by making use of the special qualities of quantum systems, such as superposition and entanglement. In traditional computers, information is encoded as bits, which can only have one of two states, 0 or 1. The fundamental units of traditional computations are indeed in bits. On the other hand, quantum bits, otherwise known as qubits, are the data units used by quantum computers. These qubits can exist in the state of superposition, unlike conventional bits. Superposition in physics means that a particle can be in two places at the same time. So this means that qubits can be in the zero state and the one state simultaneously. This characteristic enables quantum computers to carry out computations on numerous scenarios at once potentially speeding up certain tasks. As well as superposition, quantum computers can take advantage of entanglement. In physics, entanglement is a phenomena when two or more particles become so closely correlated with each other that they show behaviors that are inextricably linked, no matter how far away they are from one another. Within the quantum computer, the qubits are entangled with each other. This enables the qubits to process and transmit information to each other in a highly connected manner, potentially increasing computational capacity. Qubits are implemented and operated on by quantum computers using a variety of technologies. Superconducting circuits, trapped ions, topological qubits, and photonics are a few of the popular methods. With regard to scalability, error rates, and stability, each of these technologies has advantages and disadvantages of its own. It's vital to understand that while quantum computers may be able to tackle some problems more quickly than classical computers, they are not meant to take the place of traditional computers for general purpose and domestic computing. Certain specific types of calculations, such as factoring huge numbers, optimizing complicated systems, simulating quantum systems, and addressing particular kinds of optimization issues are best left to quantum computers. However, due to the sensitive nature of quantum systems and the effects of decoherence, which can disturb the delicate quantum states, constructing and running functional quantum computers is a substantial technological challenge. To overcome these obstacles and create more potent and dependable quantum computers, scientists and engineers are working hard. In conclusion, quantum computers utilize superposition and entanglement to process information, utilizing qubits and the principles of quantum physics. They represent an interesting area of current research and development, and have the ability to tackle some problems more quickly than conventional computers.